Good morning, Adams Jets. It's me, Mrs. Holland, with your Thursday morning announcements. It is gross outside. Have you been out there? Yes, you have. It's gross. But I actually like gross days sometimes. Anyway, today is October 7th, 2021. For lunch, we are having barbecue turkey sandwich and baked potato. The vegetarian option is cheese ravioli and baked potato. Petite banana. <laughs> Petite means small. Petite banana. Carrots and milk. I'm sure there's some sort of dessert option, but I just don't know what it is. So you'll be surprised. Maybe it'll be cake or a cookie or whatever you are hoping for. Special announcements for today. There really isn't very much. I shared a lot yesterday. Oh, I just remembered one as I'm talking. So next week, we've got a few different things. Next Wednesday, which is the 13th, we have our two-hour delay. So your teachers will give you an assignment on Tuesday for you to do on Wednesday in the morning on your device, which will give you more information about that next week. But you've done it already, so you should know what to do. Then on Thursday... Mr. Richardson is going to grace us all with his cheer in his cheerleading outfit. <sighs> and I will also have a cone on my head. Because I'm a good sport and I realize I lost. And I'm fine with it. I'll be fine. And my head's going to hurt so bad. I'm going to try and come up with something because... Uh, Anyway, so that will be Thursday. At the end of the day, we are going to go outside so that we can all be together so you can see his beautiful cheer. That'll be great. That's at 2 o'clock next Thursday. And then next Friday is fall break day. We don't have school, and you don't have to do anything on your device. So it's just a free day to be a kid. So that'll be nice. So that's all next week. Fun times. Also, trunk or treat, you all took that paper home on October 22nd from 5 to 7. The staff members are going to decorate their trunks in fun things and dress up out in our yard that you can then come by and get some candy. And then we'll also have some other things. We partner with PTA and our outreach committee here at school to put on a fun fall festival for you all. And there's a little healthy competition, which you already all know about. If you bring candy in, that is going to be a donation for, so if you bring candy in, you're just going to be able to get it because we're going to put it in our trunks and then when you come around, we'll give you that candy. So it's a donation to your community. Anyway, but the class, the three classes that bring in the most candy will get some really fun prizes, which Miss Downey and Mrs. Lindsay are going to share next week what those prizes are. But I shall tell you, we've got our people. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I just looked at this. So our leaderboard so far with 390 pieces of candy. That's a lot of candy. Oh my gosh. Is Miss Downey's class interesting? Miss Downey is on the committee for outreach, so we need to take her down, right? Okay. So Miss Downey, 390. And then Mrs. Garen's class had 409 pieces of candy. So they're in second place currently. And then in first place right now is Mrs. Lindsay's class, which I also feel like she's on outreach committee, and so we should take her down too, right? So bring your candy in. Anyway, they have 497 pieces of candy. Oh, my goodness. All right, bring your candy in. I know that you'll probably do that today, and I will update you on the numbers tomorrow. That's it. Time for the Adams Pledge. We know how to actually Why did the rat go inside uh, a store? Why? Because he wanted more cheese. <sighs> oh, goodness. The rat wanted more cheese. I mean, that just makes sense, right? Rats love cheese. Do they really love cheese, or is that just something that we see in TV shows and movies? Eh, I have no idea. Anyway, keep the jokes coming. I'm running a little bit low. Period. <laughs> That's all I have. Okay, anyway. Classrooms, you may do the Pledge of Allegiance. Today and every day we celebrate how beautifully different we all are. If today were the day you met a goal that you had set for yourself in reading, may you share it with someone and they celebrate you and make you feel really good and ready to meet your next goal. 
May that be the Thursday you have. Reading goal, meeting, celebration, next goal, Thursday. That made complete sense, didn't it? Ha! Huh. The point is, may you meet a goal today and be celebrated. And if, please tell me if you've met your goal and I will celebrate you. I'll make a big deal about it. I would love to do that. Okay, that, may that be your Thursday. Anywho, I love you all. Truly, I love you all. Be kind to each other. Be kind to the staff. Be kind to your friends. Be kind to those people who you don't think are your friends because we should show kindness no matter what, right? And definitely be kind to yourself. Have a great day. Peace out. Let go and remind yourself that this very moment is the only one you know you have for sure.